Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Morten for Bags Music and what I brought today is a very special piece of kit. It is the Antelope Audio Xeno USB modeling microphone. Uh, I call a lot of products uh, special in my review. I, I, I love cool audio gear. I'm, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just really stoked to see uh, what technology can do nowadays. This microphone does deserve being called special though. Um, this is more than just a USB mic that you would pick up anywhere else. This is a microphone that is also an audio interface that is also a modeling microphone. It's got a lot of features on board and in quick succession we're going to run through the features, tell you more about it and in, uh, after the fact we're going to switch to a colleague of mine, Jasper, who's going to give some nice sound demos of this microphone using his acoustic guitar. But first, let's see what's in the box. Uh, I've unpacked this already as you can see and what you get is what I'm holding here. Um, you get the microphone of course. Uh, it comes with a nice fitting shock mount so any vibrations don't really come through to the microphone. Uh, let's say you're banging on the table. If you're you know pounding on the table it will come through a little bit. This is all included in the packaging over here. So you got the desk mount, uh, the shock mount, the USB mic, and for a USB mic we need a USB cable. I've got a nice 8 foot cable uh, included, and we got a um, wind cap or a windscreen, which places on top of the microphone like so, uh, to eliminate any uh, wind noises. Uh, let's say you're in a draft, picking up a little bit, because this micro microphone is very sensitive. Um, having something like this included is a very nice addition. Finally, we got a quick start guide and a European warranty card. And um, depending if you're in Europe or in the States, uh, you'll probably get a different uh, warranty card. So that's what's in the box. Now, why did I call this microphone special? This microphone has so many uh, features. Uh, let's start off with the audio fidelity at first. Antelope Audio, of course, known for their clocking, known for their preamps. Um, can't really tell what preamp there is uh, in here, but it's probably something akin to a discrete preamp, uh, just going by the sound. Um, but it's just powering one microphone, it's going through USB, and it does its job perfectly. Uh, the Fidelity itself, we got uh, 192 kilohertz, 24-bit audio, as you would expect from any Antelope Audio product. Just, uh, you want the highest quality possible, uh, you got it, even in... Um, what eventually uh, boils down to just a USB mic, but then again, that's why I'm making the point for it not just being a USB mic. As we know with Antelope Audio, they like running DSP effects. This is no different. This microphone comes standard with 10 effects that are included with the purchase of this microphone, including auto-tune. So if you want to go that route uh, and don't want to pay for auto-tune separately, <laughs> check out this microphone by Antelope Audio. Um, but the pro about Antelope Audio is that they usually add a DSP chip inside of their product. This is no different. And it makes sure that everything comes back real time. So uh, if you're recording vocals or guitar and you're singing, you don't want to hear yourself back like a quarter of a second later. You want to hear yourself in that moment at that time with the effects that you want. This microphone gives you that opportunity and uh, that option if you so choose. Also, it comes with Auroverb as standard as with most Antelope Audio products. Uh, Auroverb is a very, very powerful or at least a very beautiful uh, reverb uh, generator. It makes sure that it sounds uh, like, like a true convolution reverb. It's, it's really, really, really nice studio grade stuff, uh, which you can expect from this company. Another thing that Antelope Audio is known for is their clocking. Good clocking makes sure that your audio comes in clean. It just checks the pulse of whatever you're recording. This has 64-bit uh, clocking. And of course, Antelope Audio being one of the first companies to put an atomic clock in a piece of audio equipment, um, you would expect nothing less. Um, bad clocking leads uh, to digital artifacts like jitter, or other stuff that you don't really want in your recordings. So having good clocking um, goes kind of hand in hand with Antelope Audio here, and it's no different in the Xeno. Those are some great technical specs, but Antelope Audio is of course uh, known for their modeling mics also. And they spend a lot of time, a lot of effort into modeling microphones uh, to the best of their abilities inside of a microphone that is not that microphone. And they use software and clever wizardry 
to make it sound like uh, a microphone that might be a lot more expensive or rare or both. Um, and it does it really well. I've had a couple of microphones that they emulated. I compared them side to side and they sound just alike. They changed the name slightly, but if you know your microphones, you know what kind of microphone you're trying to emulate. And I did put those microphones side to side and it works just perfect. Yeah, a lot of features jam-packed into a, a tiny uh, housing here, um, but it gives a great quality sound. In just a little bit after I go over the buttons that are on the microphone, I'm gonna hand this over uh, to our old uh, studio uh, from the e our e-special event and with Jasper uh, so he can demonstrate this microphone through an acoustic guitar using different presets that are built into this microphone. But first, we got a headphone out so you can listen to yourself um, in real time, of course, with all the effects that are included. We got a headphone volume. We got a microphone volume. Uh, you can also adjust like a bunch of these settings like your gain and all that inside of the software. We got a high pass filter. Uh, we got a little icon here that tells you that this is a cardioid microphone. Uh, cardioid means that it records in kind of a, yeah, cardioid shape in front of the microphone and doesn't pick up a lot behind the microphone. And finally, we got a negative 10 pad on the microphone as well. If you're recording any loud sources, just flick the switch and everything that's coming in will be uh, cut down by uh, 10 dB. All in all, I'm gonna hand this microphone uh, to Jasper. He's gonna play you a little bit of guitar. I hope you all enjoy it, get a good picture of what this microphone can do. And I'll see you back for the outro. That was some great playing by Jesper. I hope it gave you a good picture of what this microphone can do in different presets and different sounds. Uh, he moved the, the guitar around a little bit to also show you the directionality of this microphone. And of course, we tried a couple of the presets. This is a great microphone if you rely on one microphone to do your, uh, do your thing. If you're a singer-songwriter, if you just uh, do solo guitar, this uh, or vocals, especially vocals, this is great. It comes with the auto-tune. It's a little bit vocal focused as, as well. Uh, has a lot of options for you to get the best out of your recordings with just one microphone. Of course, there are great interfaces by Antelope Audio that you can use and use XLR mics and hook it all up that way. But if you just need one microphone that does it all, look no further than the Antelope Audio X Xeno modeling microphone. For more information, you can click the link in the description below. If you're ever in the opportunity to visit one of the Bax Music stores in person, do talk to one of our colleagues. They'll be more than happy to help you find the information that you're looking for, or maybe even try this microphone out yourself. My name is Martin for Bax Music. I hope this video helped you as much as it was fun for me to make, and I hope to see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.